Alright, so in this video I'm going to be outlining a method which I came up with for getting a really smooth finish on PLA 3D printed parts. So this is one of the pieces I'm going to be working on today. It's part of a corner turning 4x4, it's an edge piece. So what I'm going to do here is start off by sanding down all of the faces a little bit. I made sure not to go too too far though because if I sanded down the, the sides and everything too much it would affect the uh, tolerances of the puzzle and you don't want it to become uh, too loose. But as you can see here, I'm just going in like every nick and cranny, just getting away, uh, sanding away all of the little imperfections. Also, I decided to just round off the edges a little bit as uh, the model that I was using did not have rounded off edges. So I just decided it would be a little cleaner to do it uh, with sandpaper after the print. Next up, I got out the casting resin and some cups just for mixing and such. Now obviously casting resin is a very expensive way of getting a clean, smooth finish on your pieces, but I plan on making molds and casting all these pieces anyway, so I just had casting resin lying around, which kind of made it so I could justify using it for this. Now I actually messed up the mixing ratios for this casting resin. Uh, it happens it's quite easy to happen when it's such a small batch, but it just meant that instead of 20 minutes to cure, it took about two hours. So now as you can see here, I'm starting to pour the resin over the piece, just trying to get uh, every surface coated. Now I have way more than I need here, obviously. Uh, I'm just kind of drizzling it over, really just going for a very thin layer of casting resin over this whole thing. So really, it takes uh, very little. Now. This casting resin does kind of have a reasonably high surface tension, so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking a pencil and kind of wiping away excess, because the excess would kind of build up and uh, cause problems with turning and also kind of make the whole puzzle a little bit lumpy. So I'm just using it to, uh, yeah, just dab away a little bit. Now I had a bit of extra casting resin and I had a piece I wanted to try, just it was also blue, so I wanted to see if uh, the casting resin would cleanly uh, turn the puzzle into a different color. Now I did wait about three minutes after the first piece so the casting resin was a lot more viscous and this actually created a thicker layer of the resin. Now this blue piece here I did not actually sand away at all on it so it's just straight up uh, how it came off the printer and the thicker layer really just completely covered up all of the little imperfections and things and the result is absolutely incredible. Uh, it looks very much like a mass-produced puzzle piece. The blue does not shine through at all, so it's just a really nice glossy black finish. This is definitely the method I'm going to be using for all of the puzzles that I make from now on with the 3D printer. Just the results are uh, significantly better than anything you could really achieve, at least than I've been able to achieve with just sandpaper. Uh, because PLA it is a much harder plastic and it's a little bit harder to sand, especially getting it to a nice finish. Now one thing that I'm going to have to take into account when using this method in the future is I'm going to need a much more engineering fit. Now the puzzle that you're kind of seeing here is called a Comprominx and the original model that I made has too much engineering fit so it's actually a bit rattly but uh, with that layer of casting resin it definitely helps a lot. So I'll definitely be using comparable amounts of engineering fit for future puzzles using this method. Anyways, that's my video on getting a nice smooth finish. Thank you for watching.